Hi guys, this is Dirk from the Kaffee Null blog on kaffeenull.org. Today I want to show you how to get rid of dust from your scanned negatives. And because I want to fight dust because I just hate it. It does not add anything to the picture. Maybe on some pictures it does add something to the mood, but most of the times I really don't like how dust looks on pictures and I found out if you look for Café Noel on the Google image search, I'm using the German Google image search here at the moment, there are some pictures that have massive dust. This one is quite dusty. Okay, those are not developed in Café Noel. That's me, by the way. Um, here is dust. I know it because I know the full-size image. And I don't want to give the impression that Café Noel means dusty images. And you see here dust everywhere and yeah I'm gonna show you how to remove dust really easily. I'm gonna show it by this example which is a picture of of me it's not of me it's a picture I took and if you will see the original image has a lot of dust it's not a whole lot but it is enough to yeah, to remove something from the image. It would not look that good. So, that's how it looks on the Flickr site at the moment. And we're gonna head over to Adobe Photoshop Elements, which is the example that I will use. Of course, all those things that I will be showing today will work with Adobe Photoshop CS5 and CS6 as well. But I found that Adobe Photoshop Elements is much more practical in removing dust and scratches from images because of the tool that I'm using, which is the Spot Healing Brush Tool, is, yeah, it only has two options. It is a Spot Healing Brush Tool and the other one is the Spot Healing Brush Tool. The healing brush tool basically so we're gonna do that this is the image how I scanned it with my scanner I always scan in color and then later I convert the image to black and white which I will just do now so grayscale okay now we have something that looks similar to this of course it looks yeah, bigger here. Okay, so the main key is that you have to use the keyboard and I use that quite a lot if I use Photoshop. The keys that I will be using is the command key. I guess that's the uh, control key on the Windows keyboard. I use the space key. I use the option key which says Alt on a Windows keyboard as well and we will use the J key. Uh, this one. Yeah. So when we have our image opened uh, and we will use yeah some other keys I will explain why I use those keys. So if we open our image it will most probably look like this. So we can then zoom into a bigger view by pressing command 0 so or control 0 on a Windows machine. Then we will see we will have quite some dust. We have some here there is a scratch here, dust here, dust everywhere basically. And I want to start removing this dust. So I will press the J key, which leads me to the spot healing brush. We can then zoom in. I will do that by pressing command and the space key and just zooming in here. And I will just draw over this scratch. It's not a scratch, it's dust. And it's gone. There is another one here. I'm using a soft brush. If you right click into the image and have a, a brush selected or a spot healing tool or the brush tool which is here, then you will have this pop-up where you can select your brushes. I always select a soft brush which is yeah, soft round, it's 45 pixels. The size does not matter to me because I change that if I need to have a bigger brush. By then pressing only the space bar, you will get this little hand. 
you can then move around the image and look for dust. There is a spot, there is a spot, there is a spot, there. It's quite a lot of dust in this image. There is a small one, there is another one, there is one bigger part here, bigger part here. Okay, very good. Remove this. So there is a really large one here. We'll just draw here. You see, I'm constantly using the space bar to switch to the hand tool, which allows me to move the canvas. Okay, one here. And it really goes, yeah, it's really fast once you get a hang out of it. So, the most important thing on most images is that you have the content aware type selected at the brush. Because I can show you what happens if you select create texture. Let me just switch to a bigger brush. By using the brackets, you can make the brush bigger or smaller. I will use a fairly big brush now. So if I draw here with create texture, it will create a really ugly texture. You can press Command Z or Control Z to go back in your history. Proximity match will most of the time work well. It's faster as well, but I, I tend to use content aware. I will show you in a minute why. Maybe we can show it here. If I use proximity match here at this border, oh, it works. Here as well. Switch to content aware. Okay, this one is large. You see that one? Yeah, it went well. It's okay. It's good. No one will notice that I have edited this image by removing dust. So, okay, let's zoom out. You can press Command minus on the keyboard here, minus, and of course plus to zoom in. <clears throat> okay, remove that. Uh, you see, this one does not work well here. So, we go back, proximity match, we check if it works here. Looks better. Okay. Remove those. That was not quite enough. Zoom out a bit. This one could be a dust spot, but I left it in because I think it was a screw. But let's remove it. So you see, proximity match does not work here. So let me go back here. We go to content aware, and there it works. It's not perfect because this area is brighter. So let's switch to the other spot healing brush, which you do by just pressing J again. And then you have the same brush, but you can press the Alt key. You get this little target and you select the area that you want to copy. It's like the clone tool. So I select this area and immediately you see how your brush will look like. So okay, I'm gonna put that here and just draw in a bit. And now it looks good. So then I switch to the normal content healing brush tool again. Okay, and there is some dust here. I'm gonna zoom in a bit more, make the brush smaller. Okay, that was not good. Okay. Better here, here. Okay, there is a critical one. Those edges are always critical because if I would remove too much, it would think that this edge should go as well. So we'll just for safety switch to the clone brush. Switch back and then it looks perfect. Okay, smaller brush. Go here. Zoom out. There is dust here. And another one here. And 
this probably this is not cheating this is this is how the image looks on the film when you took it the dust comes in after you have developed and washed the film when it hangs in your bathroom or in your living room or in your cellar and you have dust flying around or someone opens the door if the film is still a bit wet then you will just get dust on your negatives so it's not something that you explicitly add to the image if you have a digital camera and you have dust on your sensor you will remove it you won't say oh this adds so much to the image because yeah I like it no this is not what you want you don't want to have dust on your images so there is one thing that I have cropped it out here but I know in the original that I made I have removed this cable because it doesn't look good so I just remove it up to here that was not quite enough we use a bigger brush okay and then we zoom in here okay we switch to the other healing brush and we do the last bit here switch back and done how long was that I can't see it <laughs> it was not long it took not long to remove all of the dust in this image you see no dust anymore easy really easy there's another one here maybe here but you see how quick it was I think it's quicker than scanning the image in high DPI yeah we still have the grain texture everything see here in the dark areas everything is there great there is something I don't like here which I will just remove with this clone brush tool okay very good that's it we can save the image we can crop it and then publish it it's so easy so there's no reason to not remove dust from your images a bit more here oh, yeah, it's perfect great image ready to be published and it took five minutes to remove it also make sure to join our Facebook group which can be found on facebook.com slash groups slash caffeinol and there are a lot of things going on here where to buy your stuff how to build an enlarger out of old stuff and Smena symbol cameras it's really interesting pictures with plate cameras made and developed in film lots of dusty images that you will hopefully now edit again and it will remove the dust even if it's a lot but it's worth it looking at images without dust this one is beautiful and yeah have fun bye